High Resolution Technologies have just released their new top-of-the-line USB DAC, the HRT Music Streamer HD. This Southern California company, which not only designs in-house, but also builds in-house, has really put the other manufacturers on notice in this highly competitive area of DACs. What makes it unique is that it's built with a fully differential signal path, or commonly called a balanced design. This type of design is used almost exclusively in the pro audio and sound recording industry, and with a lot of other high-end manufacturers of home audio equipment. It is a more complicated way of designing a circuit, but it does have some benefits when it comes to running long lengths of cable and keeping the noise on the line to a minimum. If you're a DJ on a budget, what a great device to have to hook up your computer straight into a mixing console. However, if you're running single-ended system, the Music Streamer HD has RCA outputs, so no matter what type of audio setup you have, installation is easy. Another great thing I like about this DAC is that on the front end, you have a switch for 1.0 or 2.0 USB. Now on Apple computers, it's really never been a problem with driver software. You just plug in the DAC and off it goes. However, with Windows, you have to load in a driver software package. With the Music Streamer HD, as soon as you plug it in and it loads up the software and off you go. Unless you're running on a computer that's pre-2009, you'll most likely be using 2.0. Another great feature is the HRT Upstream Utility, which is used if ever a firmware update is available for your Music Streamer HD. The firmware is updated from the HRT's website then through your computer. This feature may not seem so important, but it keeps you having the most up-to-date version on your DAC. On the front panel, there is an LED display that shows the current sample rate. 44, 48, 88, 96, 176, 192K. It also shows you the bit length of either 16 or 24. Below that is the mute light to let you know when no signal is being passed to the music streamer. Power for the music streamer HD is from the 5 volt line of the USB. Being gallically isolated from the rest of the DAC should present very little noise issues. Being asynchronous, which basically means it does the clocking for, of the data, jitter is so low that I do not really feel it's much of an issue, and at this price point, it is astonishing how low the specs have become. So how does it sound? If you've been used to listening to music through a sound card in your computer, the first thing that becomes apparent is the quietness. You do not realize the noise or the grunge that is in the background until it's gone. The high frequencies do not have the edgy brightness, and the instruments seem to have more air around them in a more defined space. Now, the Music Streamer HD cannot fix bad recordings, but you may be very surprised how much of your music does come alive and sounds more dominant and just flows. If you're venturing into the world of computer music, then the Music Streamer HD is a great place to start.